So rosacea is a chronic inflammatory condition that affects the skin. It often presents with red patches of the face, often the mid-face with pustules and papules. It can affect the eyes. It can also cause thickening of the nose and the chin. And often chronic rosacea can present with even beyond patches of redness, but really discreet and traceable dilated blood vessels on the face. So there are four types of rosacea. The first is erythematotelangiectatic rosacea, there's papulopustular rosacea, there's phimidus rosacea, and there's ocular rosacea. The first category, ETR, manifests as flat red patches on the face. So that's someone who you say just always has a ruddy face. Um, that's the mildest form of rosacea. We treat rosacea based on the severity of the rosacea. So if you have the mildest form of rosacea, one of the best treatments is actually laser. So I do a lot of laser on those patients to really shut down those blood vessels. There are some temporary treatments which constrict those blood vessels temporarily. Um, and you can, some of them you can actually get over the counter. For the papular postular rosacea, that's a little bit more severe, then we're using a slightly more aggressive cream. Sometimes I'll use a very, very low dose oral antibiotic, and it's so low dose that it's no longer working as an antibiotic, but it's really just working as an anti-inflammatory medication to help to reduce that inflammation. Ocular rosacea, you're going to see that redness and those, those papules and pustules around the eye, so the ocular area. Oral medications are often the best for that. And for phimidus um, rosacea, we're using all of the above, so we're using oral medications, topical medications, but I often have to do a little bit of laser surgery to really break down the thick sebaceous tissue and kind of restore the face to the aesthetic that it once had. I know how demoralizing rosacea can be. So when you look at studies of rosacea patients, the vast majority of them say that it affects their quality of life. It decreases their desire to socialize. It increases their rates of depression. I would really encourage them to seek out professional help because we can really maintain their condition. We have some really great treatments to really reduce and control rosacea, which is a lifelong problem.